Hello everyone, welcome to Exemplar Physics. I have already made 4 videos on CBSC sample paper subject science subject code 086 and we have dealt with the questions asked in each section. In this video I have selected few questions which could be useful for you for the upcoming board exam. So these questions will be for one mark and the chances are there that this, these could be asked in the section A. So let us get into the questions. Question number one. Magnification produced by a rear view mirror is fitted in vehicles is option A less than one, option B more than one, option C equal to one, option D can be more than or less than one depending upon the position of the object in front of it. So, the mirror which is used as a rear view mirror is convex mirror. Remember, convex mirror has a wide field view. It means we can see large area in the small mirror and uh, always image formed by convex mirror is virtual, erect and uh, diminished. So, if the image formed by convex mirror is always diminished, uh, that means uh, the magnification is going to be less than 1. So the correct option here it is uh, A less than 1. Let us see the second question. Question number 2. A glass lamp is placed in the path of convergent light. The point of convergence option A shifts towards the slab, option B shifts away from the slab, option C do not shift, option D shifts laterally. You can pause the video, think for some time and answer then check the solution. I hope you have got the answer. Let us check. So for the solving this question we need two convergent rays. So let us take two convergent rays and let us place a glass lab in front of them. So let us place a glass lab here. I will be placing a thin glass lab so that I can clearly see whether they shift towards the glass lab or away from the glass lab. So these are the two points of incidences. So I need to draw a normal at the point of incidence so that I can clearly see the refraction whether so the light is traveling from rarer medium to denser medium. So the rays would bend towards the normal. The rays would bend towards the normal. Okay. Now again one more point of uh, incidence and here we have to draw normal please let us draw normal here now this rays would will again move away from the normal as they are coming out of the glass slab denser medium so somewhere they are going to meet so this is the point where they are going to meet okay roughly i am drawing with a free hand you can draw with, a, with the help of a scale so we don't we need this diagram in the answer just we have to answer which which of the option is correct if suppose the glass lab is absent so what would happen these two rays would have met somewhere at this point let us call this point as o but since the glass lab is present they are meeting at this point let us call this as o dash so what happened to the point O? 
due to the presence of glass slab the point of intersection has shifted away from the glass slab so which option is correct the correct option is b shifts away from the slab i hope you have understood the question let's take another question question number 3 It is a common notion that earth's magnetism is due to the a presence of huge permanent magnet in the interior of the earth b presence of cur electric current circulating in the interior of the earth c influence of sun's magnetic field d influence of nuclear explosion so this is a common notion not a verified fact and the answer for this is the presence of electric currents circulating in the interior of the earth so option b let's go to the question number 4 what is the total emf when three cells of voltage 1 volt 1.5 volt and 2 volt are connected in series so in the chapter electricity we have a series and parallel combination of resistances but we don't have the series and parallel combination of voltages so let us take uh, three different batteries each having the emf 1 volt so let us take this as 1 volt and the other one 1.5 volt and the third one 2 volt so how do we join them we have according to the question we have to join them in series so series implies one after the other so how do we join them first so say let us let me write the terminals names a b c d e f so to b i will join c to d i will join e so this is how it's going the connection is going to be the series combination so 1 volt 1.5 volt and then 2 uh, volt so the terminals ends are going to be af right so i need to join b here b and c here no need to draw the diagram in the exam you have to directly write the answer i am just explaining so that you you will understand next to d i have to connect e and the other end is f So if I measure the potential difference across this, so what happens? The potential difference adds up. So the the value which I get from the voltmeter is going to be one plus one point five plus two volts. That is four point five volts. Option B. Let's take one more question. Question number five: The refractive index of diamond is two point four two. What is the meaning of this statement? So this is a very good question, and the chances are there that it would be asked in the exam. So refractive index of diamond. So let me write it as a mu d. Add it mu d is equal to speed of light in vacuum by speed of light in diamond. and its value is 2.42 what does this mean this means that vd is equal to c by 2.42 right so you have to write this in statement answer should be in the statement so it means that light travels 2.42 times faster okay light travels 2.42 times faster in vacuum than compared to diamond or you can write in a reverse way that is a uh, light travels 2.42 times 
slower in than in vacuum so since it is for just one marker that's enough so we have considered here five questions which could be useful for section a i'll be making more videos for cbse board science paper especially for physics if you have any doubts please write it in the comment section and uh, please share this video with your friends and family members and prepare well for the exam all the best thank you